Welcome to the Rep Pala Guide for the changes and reworks in Battle for Azeroth. There's been a few changes to Rep, and they bring a few of the old spells back, which I'm happy with. One of my favorite spells, which was in Catter, has been re-added. But yeah, I'll get into the single target build and then the AoE build. So for single target, I take Righteous Verdict. Because obviously you're going to use Templar's Verdict almost all the time to dump your holy power. And increasing that damage by 15% is just really, really good. Execution Sentence, I don't like. I just don't really like it. For using free holy power, like it's just I can use it on a Templar's Verdict and do more DPS. Zeal, I don't really like the auto attacks going up. But I know I'm going to be using Templar's Verdict mostly all the time to dump my holy power so that's just really good so blade of wrath it just works the same as it does now and hammer of wrath which is obviously the old school ex execute they had paladins but since this only comes into effect below 20 percent health and mostly in a pv situation a thing won't be below 20 percent health like a boss won't be below 20 percent health until obviously the last quarter of the fight or something like that but fires of justice reduces the cooldown of crusader strike by one second and gives it a 15% chance to reduce the cost of your next holy power spend number one. It means you're just saving way, way more holy power. And you can use it on stuff later on. And it just it increases your DPS overall. Because you can keep Templar's Verdict up. And just keep clicking that. For your next set, this is kind of where it gets a bit tricky. So Wake of Ashes, which was, of course, the artifact ability for Rets in Legion. That's become a talent now. And Consecration and Divine Vengeance. Divine Vengeance is useless for single targets. So you have to go Wake of Ashes. Because it just gives you 5 Holy Power straight up. And you can just use Templars and and uh, use your Inquisition. Which I'll get to later. Next one's down to you. I just take Cavalier because I like being speedy. Next one, I just take Word of Glory. Because just to cause Vengeance, using 5 Holy Power to do something which does the same DPS as a Templar's Verdict. But it just you, takes your 2 Holy Power. But yeah. Selfless healers, just meh, meh. And now for the next talent slot, which is the last one, which is the most interesting one. So Inquisition, which was in Kata, has come back. Which is just it, Basically, you just use it when you have free holy power, and it just increases your damage in haste by 8% for, for basically for the whole fight, because you're going to keep it up the whole fight. And they've, ch they've made Crusade again, and Divine Purpose. And Divine Purpose is good, but RNG, who likes RNG? I can just take Inquisition and just have a flat 8% damage and haste increase the whole fight. So it basically works the same as it does in Legion. You just start off with start off with your Wake of Ashes and then do your Templar's Verdict. You don't really ever want to be using your Divine Storm. It's just useless. We haven't got any spells that empower it. Just want to make sure you're using your Templar's Verdict as soon as, um, as, soon as you can. I probably would have started with Inquisition, but since I'm so not used to having to toggle it up, I didn't put it up. But you literally just want to make sure that's up all the time, your Inquisition. And just using all your spells when you can. And just hitting, hitting, hitting. So Templar's Verdict. So, oh my god, I'm retarded. I'm so retarded, I was hitting the wrong dummy. <laughs> so now we'll just start on this one. That was good because I didn't get my Inquisition. So we'll start off with Inquisition. Go Inquisition. And just, yeah, start off with all of this. Use up Templar's Verdict, and now I've got a Wake of Ashes back up, so I can use my Templar's Verdict. And then use one um, Crusader Strike and another Templar's Verdict. Just make sure you keep up Judgment, because obviously you want the um, you want the, the guy to take more damage from your Holy Spenders. So just make sure you're using, your, just make sure you're using Templar's Verdict all the time, really. Never using Divine Storm, because it's just a waste if you use Divine Storm. But it's literally the same as, as Paladin's really been. For the last few um, expansions, just basically a, a shitty rogue. But yeah. Now we'll get into the AoE talents, which is kind of where Paladin shines, especially because Divine Storm is just crazy good. So you want to take um, Executioner's Sentence, and you want to take Blade of Wrath is good, but Hammer of Wrath, because if a target around you goes below 20, which is when you do AoE, it will. You can just use that and generate one holy power for when something around you is low. Um, next one, just down to you, whatever. For the next one, you have to take Divine Vengeance. Divine Storm has a 50% chance to refund one holy power when it hits three or more enemies. You just want that holy power. You just want the holy power all the time. 
And obviously the amount of divine storms you're going to be using regularly, you're just going to get so much, so much um, holy power back. Next one's down to you again, Cavalier, whatever. Next one's down to you again. It's just down what what do you prefer. Now for the next one, divine purpose is just the best because if you get a an RNG on your divine storm, you can just use it again and again and again. It's just crazy good. If you take this for example, I'll hit these two dummies so it's a uh, single target. I won't get the full of effective hammer of wrath, but most people know what it, what happens to it. It's just basically when someone gets below twenty, you can just hold a hammer at them, so you'll get one um, one holy power. So you just want to start off with putting judgment on the target and blade of justice. Building your 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 holy power is the same, but you've literally just got to be spending it on the on the divine storm and just using it on the divine storm over and over. Just using the divine storm. It's not how it worked in the Legion where it, it like it pulses out and goes towards your target. It's like the old school version where it just it's like a, a whirlwind thing around you. You just go like that. So we haven't got a proc yet. I'll just demonstrate the proc. So we can get it. Just use wings. And see the target's below twenty percent. But when I have wings, it um it makes Hammer Wrath be able to be used on um like whenever it's up, which is just really good. So just using divine storms, and now I've got a proc of divine intervention, so I can just use another um, another divine storm, which is as you can see, obviously that's really really good for me. Right, just use it. So on average, you should be getting a free um, a free divine storm every every five, which is just really good in its own. It's quite decent value. So obviously, if RNG goes your way, you'll be doing huge damage. But building it's the same, just gotta make sure you're using divine storms and take what talents you prefer. But yeah, it's it's they're bringing back all the old spells, which which I like with Paladin. Like they're bringing back greater blessings and just yeah, really, really, really good. So it's just yeah, it's looking it's looking good. Uh, it's kind of the same from Legion, but it's had a switch around, like most of the classes, to be honest. But yeah, I decided to go Alliance for a change because we were seemed we were in Shrine for for years. But yeah. So this is Rep Pala. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more guides. And see you in the next one.